Hi friends, I'm Nate Ster. Hola amigos, buenos dias. I hope you're having a great day. Great day. Today we're checking out Disney Speedstorm, a free-to-play game on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Uh, you can get the free version. Um, I'm going to tell you what I like about it, maybe a little bit what I don't like, but it's actually a very uh, positive and fun and good game. Let's get right into this by looking at a map and, uh, and playing the game. All right. So I'm playing a, a level from the Little Mermaid, and because I think it looks really awesome, and I'll be guess who I'll be playing as? You guessed it, Michelangelo Wazowski. So here we go. This game is actually really well done. There's a lot of nice features and um, uh, a lot of mechanics to the gameplay that really keep it interesting and going strong. The maps look brilliant and beautiful. The uh, a lot of racers, a lot of classic Disney characters, a lot of de classic Disney maps. So let's let's jump let's jump right into this. Whoops, I was trying to skip. So here we go. There's a little turbo to start if you get in the right spot. Boom! There's a jump button. You hit that. Do a little stunt. There's a turbo turbo bar at the top. You hit B to activate. I got a weapon up at the right, which fills my turbo bar. So. I'm gonna hit, whoops. I don't think I've been this way before. So I got turbo going right now. You got these little sliders that uh, uh, charge your turbo and give you a little little boost. Got a little stunt there. Picked up a weapon, I got my special. Each each character has their own, uh, their own special. So uh, Michelangelo, I mean, Michael Wazowski, he, he put some doors doors out that if you hit them it gives you a, a shortcut and an advance ahead uh, apparently they they spawned on a different part of the track so I didn't see them but this game looks really good it's, it's real beautiful the music there's a lot of really good music um, you can boost I mean you can uh, you can uh, you can do your uh, drifting and add, add turbo It's actually a very, very fun game. Whoops, somebody hit me. Somebody hit me. Um, it's very fun. So you got a jump button, you got an extra boost, you got weapons, which is X for, this is on Nintendo Switch. That weapon is a, fills up my boost bar, doubles it. So that's always, oh man, that guy wrecked me. I'll see, there's my doors. If I go into those, it'll give me a shortcut. Boost me ahead. That's his special. Each character has a different special. Throw that disc backwards. Oh, shoot, I missed. Oh, I got past me. Let's see what lap we on. Got one more lap. I really like this this board. It looks great. I'm a real big fan of a lot of these old classic Disney movies and and uh, a lot a lot of interesting uh, music in this game, a lot of interesting maps. Let's see if I can win this. I think I wrecked that dude. Oh, what? Somebody hit... Oh, I don't know what happened there. Look, kind of weird. Oh, shoot. Oh, he wrecked me. All right, back in first. I think, I think I'm about to win this baby. Yippee! So that's how you do it. There's, there's really a lot to love about this game. It is free to play. They have different versions. You can... You can buy. Um, this is the best way I like to play. I'll show you how to get in. And it's uh, either you play locally, you can play single player, or play with you know a friend at your house. So I'll sh I'll show you how to get into that. So if I go back to so you go back to the main menu, 
Yeah, let's. I don't know what that said. I should read it maybe. Uh, um, so what you do is you pick friendly race down in the bottom right corner. Um, I, I pick local free play. You play one player, two player, pick one player, and that's how you get into that mode. You can pick any of the tracks. Um, you can pick a lot of different characters. Um, you can play two players locally. Or also what you can do, or what I like to do, is I pick pick private track. That's for online. Um, you create a race, join a race, and that way you have a... I think in this, this, this type of mode, you don't have the unfair advantage because there's a lot of unlockable content and upgrades that give your character and player um, unfair advantages. It, you know, you get like a pay to play thing. I kind of don't like that, but um, there's an option for that. So go back to the menu. If you hit the, the minus button, it takes you to the, sh the shop. I'll tell you what I don't like is, oh, what's this? Did I, there's a, there's a free thing here. Let me check it out. Uh, okay, I'll open that. That's a free one. So you get some free stuff there. I'm just skipping through this. It was just free, so I was grabbing it while I was there. But you see you got like four different currencies. Um, a lot of the stuff that, that you buy, it doesn't really make sense, like what you're actually buying. There's not a really good description. So you could really waste and spend a lot of money and not really know for sure what you're accomplishing or what you're getting. Or maybe I just don't have the patience to, to figure it out or the desire. Um, you know, I just look at it briefly and don't really care to look much more into it. But there's all kinds of things. got these multiplayer boxes, you got collections, specials, all these shards, all these different currencies. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I don't know that I care to make it make a lot of sense. But you can buy characters, unlock stuff. Um, so, so that's what I don't like about it is you could you could spend a lot of money on it, and there's not really a clear description on what you're actually buying or what you're accomplishing. So you could you could waste a lot of money without even doing anything that you wanted there's also a single player mode you got different different uh worlds you go to the newest one is from wreck it ralph it's, uh sugar rush so i'll show you a little bit about that you go into the chapter select you pick chapter one there's different chapters um and then i did the first one i think but you just progress through but a lot of times you got to upgrade your character and buy stuff to to actually have a fair fair chance of winning is from what I can tell um, you still give it a try I think I was trying one and it was like it was way harder than it should have been probably because I need to upgrade and buy stuff to to give me myself a fair shot so that's why I don't like but you can try this as a single player mode you can play online like I said um, let's get out of this so you'd go to ranked race to play with other players but I think you know if, if you're playing with other players and they're they're upgraded and they, they have uh, an unfair advantage by buying extra stuff. But this game is very fun, very enjoyable. It's actually, it's surprisingly really good and well done. Um, you can get it for free to play. They also have different versions you can buy that, that automatically unlocks a certain amount of characters and stuff for you. Uh, let me see if I can show you the characters that are available. Um, let's go here, change change racer X all right so these are the characters I guess I only have these seven some are automatic some are randomly unlocked I obviously got Mike because that's my favorite um, but you got Aladdin you got frozen characters little mermaid toy story um, stitch um, pirates of the Caribbean you got figment you got um, you know, genie Aladdin um, Hercules characters so you know, the Mickey characters, a lot of the classics. You got Prince Eric. Um, and they all have their own unique special. So it's it's really cool. You do got to unlock some of these. But like I said, if you buy a certain version of the game, you get certain points to unlock characters. So this is me checking it out. Let you know about it. I'll let you know what's good, what I, what I like, what I don't like. But, hey, for free or even for, you know, a small purchase price, you can have a lot of fun with this game either way. So... You guys have a great day. I'll catch you later.